this and more to Thomas Edison. The filament of the first fractional incandescent lamp which I invented was of carbonized cotton thread. In the search for a better filament, I carbonized everything likely. Carbonized paper horseshoe lamps were used in the first public demonstration of the electric lighting system in Menlo Park on December 31st, 1879. This uh, is a replica of the, one of the first uh, cotton gas lamps with a flip of the switch were abolished. The invention of the electric light, the harnessing of electric power had changed the face of the earth. But for Thomas Edison, it was only the beginning. Now it was 1917. 30 years had passed since the invention of the electric lamp. Edison had moved his laboratory to West Orange, New Jersey. He was 70 years old, but as active as ever. Recovering from the loss of his first wife, he had remarried happily. The flow of inventions had continued with hardly a pause. His library contained the finest fleet private laboratory in the world. Inventions had brought Edison great wealth, but to him, money was only the means to an end. He spent millions of dollars without a second thought on scientific research, and the results were astonishing. The result of a boyhood injury grew worse with the years. But no handicap could impede his genius. He devised machinery to improve the mixing of cement and the mining of iron ore. Then, with no previous experience, it's in a fine laboratory near your home. Henry Ford had pointed out that the rubber needed for automobiles was imported from abroad. In case of war, the supply might be cut off. Ford urged you to find a homegrown substitute. A few years more, you promised, and the problem of rubber would be solved. Time out from research on your 84th birthday to meet with the reporters. What do you think of the Einstein theory? Uh, I don't think anything of Einstein theory because I can't understand it. <laughs> what do you think of the sound uh, pictures to the, of today? You know, what I think of the talking picture. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't know. I never heard one. <laughs> <laughs> the greatest miracle is perhaps that so much of modern living came from the brain of one man, Thomas Alva. Ford assisting, Thomas Edison demonstrates use of his 1888 invention.